God is great and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. We worship and adore him. We praise him. We magnify him. We glorify him. He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy of the honor. He's worthy of the praise. Hallelujah to our God. Hallelujah to our King. Hallelujah to the Lord of Lords. We bless his name on today. Hallelujah. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for this day. For this is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Our spirits are lifted this morning. Our spirits are, are full. But we desire for God to fill us the more this morning with his presence, with his anointing, with his glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord, our, your God, is in your midst. And he's mighty to save. He's mighty to deliver. He's mighty to set free. He will quiet you with his love. He rejoices over you with singing. Hallelujah. Let the Lord of hosts sing over you this morning. Hallelujah. I don't know what may be going on with you. I don't know maybe what's going on with me, but I do know that the Spirit of the Lord knows how to do all things well. Hallelujah. In his presence, in his presence is the fullness of joy, and at his right hand are pleasures forevermore. So let's enter into his presence this morning. Hallelujah. I encourage you to make your space around you, your atmosphere, wherever you you are whether you're in your bedroom whether you're in your office in your car on your job in the kitchen wherever you are make that your sanctuary right now in the name of Jesus make that the place that you have prepared for the presence of the Lord to enter in and fall fresh upon you because he desires to fall he desires to be where you are but we need to clean up we need to prepare a space for when the king comes in he doesn't come into just any old space so let's prepare our minds let's prepare our hearts let's prepare our atmosphere hallelujah for the presence of the Lord let's get our hearts together let's get our minds together well how do we do that let's call upon the name of the Lord let's usher in the presence of the Lord with the clapping of our hands with the opening up of our mouths with the shouting of his praises tell the Lord how much you love him tell the Lord how much he means to you come on open your mouth and let him fill it with praise. Let out of your belly flow rivers of living water this morning in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if you can, won't you like, won't you share, won't you subscribe, won't you tag somebody? Because we're not stingy with the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. We don't covet his presence, but we want everyone to be able to uh, experience the same thing that we are experiencing. So we want this to be shared in the name of Jesus because we want God to get the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let him use you as a conduit to touch others around the world, to touch others in your own uh, 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 network, to touch others in your own family right now in the name of Jesus. For I feel the presence of the Lord. I feel the weight of his glory. I feel in the name of Jesus that God wants to do a new thing this morning in us, in you, in me, right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give him glory, give him honor, and give him praise. Now, as you lift up your hands and as you pray, as you call upon the name of the Lord, as you sing unto him this morning, we're going to have our opening prayer and our opening scripture by Minister Jesse Ford, followed by worship and praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I'll be reading Psalms 31, verses 1 through 3. And it says, in you, O Lord, I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness. Bow down your ears to me. Deliver me speedily. Be my rock of righteousness. Be my rock of refuge, a fortress of defense to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Let us pray. Precious and most holy God, Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, because of who you are, oh God. Father, we thank you, Lord God, because this is the day that you have made. We shall rejoice 
and be glad in it, oh God. Father, we thank you for life, strength, and health on this morning. We thank you, Lord God, for the activities of our limbs, oh God. Father, we just thank you, oh God, because you breathe your breath within us, oh God, on this morning. One more time, oh God, that we're able to come together with you, oh God, to get it right, oh God. Father, we ask, Lord God, that you continue, oh God, to lead and direct us, oh God. Father, show us the way in which you would enable for us to go, oh God. Father, we ask, Lord God, that even as we come together, Together on this morning, we come against Satan and his kingdom, oh God. Father, we, oh God, know that he wants to, oh God, set us up to try, oh God, for failure, oh God. But Father, there's no failure in you, oh Lord. So we ask, oh God, that you continue to touch our hearts and minds, Lord God. Father, keep our souls, oh God, trusting in you, oh God. Father, you make ways out of no way like never before, oh God. We want you, oh God, to continue, oh Lord, to show us the way in which you would have for us to go, oh God. Father, allow us, oh God, to continue, oh God, to just, oh God, be led by your great and mighty hand, oh God. We, oh God, come against, oh God, even, Lord God, every foul spirit, oh God, that would want to bring torment, oh God, to our minds, oh God. Father, we open up our minds unto you, oh God. We give you free reign over us right now, oh God. Father, we ask, Lord God, that you continue, oh God, to allow us, oh God, to just move through you, oh God, as you move through us, oh God. We ask, Lord God, that even as we, oh God, come together in this time, oh God, Father, let us, oh God, lift our voices up unto you, oh God. Let us be able to cry loud and spare not, oh God. Father, we, oh God, want you, oh Lord, to move, oh God, through this service on today, oh God. You get the glory, oh God, out of every prayer. You get the glory, oh God, out of every song. You get the glory, oh God, out of the word, even as it comes forth on this morning, Lord God. Father, we just want to praise you. We want to glorify you. We want to magnify you. We'll exalt you and lift your name on high. Why? Because you are the God that healeth thee and you are the Lord God, our healer. We know, oh God, that you have taken us, oh God, and still taking us, Lord God, through valleys, Lord God. We're going through, oh God, the mountains, Lord God. We're going through, oh God, every trial and tribulation that comes our way. And we're keeping, Lord God, our trust in you, oh Lord, because you, oh God, know the way. You have the answers, Lord God, to all, Lord God, that we're going through. So we're going to continue, oh God, to put our faith in you. We're going to continue to trust in you. We're going to continue to believe in you because you, oh God, shall never fail us, Lord God. You said you would never leave us nor forsake us, but you would always be a very present help in the time of trouble. So as we go forth on this day, oh God, Father, we're going to continue, oh God, to let you have your way in us. Father, open our hearts and minds up unto the word today, oh God, even as it comes forth, Lord God. Let us take us, Lord God, wherever, oh God, you see fit to take us, Lord God. And let us get, oh God, an understanding of everything, oh God, that's being brought forth on this day. Father, we thank you, Lord God, and we praise you. Lord, we honor you and we exalt you. We lift your name on high this morning because it's in you that we trust. It's in you, oh God, that we're going to continue to follow. It's in you, oh God, that we ask that you have your way in us, oh God, on this day. We thank you and we bless you. For it's in Jesus' mighty name we pray. And our souls say amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Come on, watch you lift up holy hands and just speak unto the Lord. Hallelujah. God, we give you glory. We magnify your name, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Oh, we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord, Jesus. Oh, we invoke your presence, Lord. Oh, God, we invite you in. Hallelujah. Have your way, oh God. Have your way, Lord Jesus. Oh, we open up the door to you, Lord, as you knock on our hearts, God. As you knock on the door of our hearts and our spirits, we open up our doors to you, God. We open up our hearts, our minds, our souls, our spirits to you, Lord Jesus. Have your way with us this morning, Jesus. Oh, we love you, God. We love you, Jesus. We magnify your name. We glorify your name, Jesus. Oh, you're worthy of the glory. 
Oh, we press our way into your presence, Jesus. Oh, Better is one day in your courts. Better is one day in your house, oh God. Better is one day in your presence than a thousand elsewhere, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Better is one moment with you, Lord. Oh, we worship you. We adore you, God. We enthrone you, Jesus. You are high and lifted up, Jesus. Oh, we bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You're shining in the light of your glory. And we worship you. And we bless you. And we praise you. And we adore you. And we magnify your name, Jesus. Thou art worthy, O great Jehovah. Thou art worthy, O mighty God. Prince of peace, Elohim, El Shaddai. We lift you high, hallelujah. Hallelujah to the mighty God. Hallelujah to the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Emmanuel. We worship you, Jesus. We glorify you. We magnify your name, Jesus. Thou art worthy. Thou art worthy. Thou art worthy. Hallelujah. Oh, we welcome you, Jesus. Uh, come on in and take a seat. Uh, have your way, Lord Jesus, uh, as we bless you, as we exalt you, as we glorify you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, be pleased with our praise. Uh, be pleased with our worship. Be pleased with our adoration unto you, God. Uh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Uh, oh, you're worthy. Hallelujah. Welcome into this place. Into this broken vessel, you desire to abide in the praises of your people, so we live our hands as we live our hearts as we are. Praise unto your name. Welcome into this place. You are welcome into. So we lift our hands as we lift our hearts as we offer up this praise unto your name. We need your presence. We 
need your presence. We need you. Holy Spirit, fill this. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Where my heart becomes free 
and my shame is undone. Your presence, Lord. Oh, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the could ever come close nothing can compare you're our living hope your presence Lord I've tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves where my heart becomes free and my shame is undone your presence Lord Holy Spirit you are and fill the atmosphere your glory God is what our hearts long for to be overcome by your presence Lord Hallelujah Us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Let us more aware of your presence let us experience the glory of your goodness let us become more aware of your presence let us experience the glory of your goodness and fill the atmosphere your glory God is what our hearts long for to be overcome by your presence Lord Holy Spirit you are welcome here come flood the and fill the atmosphere your glory God is what our hearts long for to be overcome by your presence Lord your
Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord on this day. Our God is truly worthy of all the praise, all the honor, all the worship, and all the glory. We are glorifying and magnifying the Lord on this day as a body of believers, oh God. And also we are worshiping and honoring you today because you are truly worthy of it, oh God. God, we thank the Lord for how he continues to sustain us and keep us. We thank him for how he continues to remind us that we are not alone. He said that he would never leave us, never, never alone. So you, we are uniting ourselves together as a reminder that you are not alone. We thank the Lord for enabling us to gather together through this medium and we're thanking him for how he's continued to allow us to unite ourselves together as a group of believers. And we are thankful unto him for how he continues to enable us to be reminded that he has appointed angels to the heirs of salvation, that he has enabled us to be truly his disciples and how Jesus continues to be our advocate and how we continue to recognize and we continue to serve the true and the living God, the almighty God, the undefeated God, the unstoppable God, the, the God that knows everything and is everywhere all at the same time. So we are blessing and glorifying the Lord on this day as we are welcoming you to the Haven of Rest Sanctuary Praise Worship Experience. And we're encouraging you to like, share, and subscribe to this service because not only will we be grateful about receiving all that the Lord has to offer, but we want to make sure that others receive this also. We're grateful to the Lord for how he has declared that where there is unity, there is strength, and how one can chase a thousand and two can put 10,000 to flight. So we want to glorify the Lord on today. We want him to know that we love him because he first loved us. We want him to know that we are exalting him because he is truly the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And we want him to know that we appreciate all that he does on our behalf. We're glorifying and magnifying the Lord as we continue forth in our service. And we're thankful unto him for enabling us, oh God, to go forth in strength, to go forth in power, to go forth in unity. And we're blessing him on this day. At this time, we're going to have our intercessory prayer by Minister Jesse Ford. That will be followed by a solo by Sister Shakisha Martin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, Lord God, and we bless you on this day, oh God. Father, we thank you, Lord God, because you hear all, you know all, you see all, Lord God. Father, nothing gets by you, oh God. So we come together, oh God, in this time, Lord God, lifting up first and foremost your holy name, for you are, oh God, the God that heals all. You know all, Lord God. You mm -hmm. are King of kings and Lord of lords. You are the great I am. You are our Prince of peace, oh God. You are our bright and morning star. Father, you said you would be, oh God, whatever we need you to be, oh God. Father, this morning, Lord God, we don't need you to be a butler, oh God, but we just want to praise your name. We want to glorify you. We want to lift you up, oh God. We want to lift your name on high, oh God. And Father, as we, O oh God, continue, O oh God, to cry loud and spare not, O oh God, on behalf of the world, Lord God. Father, we just ask, O oh God, that your Holy Spirit, O oh God, would fall fresh, O oh God, upon us, Lord God. Father, you continue, O oh God, to set us on fire for you, O oh God, that we, O oh Lord, may be able to come together, O oh God, to be able to cry loud and spare not on behalf of the world, on behalf of our loved ones, on behalf of, O oh God, our family members, God. Let us lift 
lift, O oh God, our voices up unto you this morning, Lord God, that we would be unified, O oh God, as a body of believers, O oh God, letting, O oh God, you, O oh Lord, have your way, O oh God, in each and every one of us, O oh God. Father, we ask right now in the name of Jesus that you, O oh God, Open us up, Lord God. You do spiritual surgery on each and every one of us, oh God. Lay us, oh God, out at your feet, oh God that you may be able to go, oh God, deep down inside of each and every one of us, Lord God. Pull out, oh God, the junk that so easily beset us, oh God, that we may be able to, oh God, turn it over unto you, oh God, that we may be able to, oh God, <coughs> leave our gifts, oh God, at the altar, oh God, and go and be reconciled with our sisters and brothers, be reconciled with our loved ones, be reconciled, Lord God, with those, oh God, our co-workers, Lord God, whoever it may be, oh God, Father, we just ask that you have your way in us, O oh God, because we need you to hear, O oh God, everything that we're crying out, O oh God, for on this day, O oh God. Father, we ask, Lord God, that you cause the people, Lord God, to love even the more, oh God, in their hearts and minds. You, oh God, pull out, Lord God, the anger, Lord God. You pull out the malice, Lord God. You pull out the discord, Lord God. Pull out those things, Lord God, that they, oh God, are letting Satan use them for, oh God. But we ask, Lord God, that you flush them out right now, Lord Jesus. Father, fill them with more of your peace, more of your love, more of your joy, oh God, that surpasses all understanding, Lord God. Heal, Lord God, those hurting hearts right now, Lord God. Heal, Lord God, those minds, Lord God. Transform their thinking, Lord God. Allow them to think of you on you, oh God, and the goodness that you've done, Lord God, within them thus far, Lord God. Father, we, oh God, cry out on behalf of the people of Ukraine, Lord God. We live them up unto you right now, Lord God. We ask that you have your way, oh God, even over in that country right now, Lord God. Father, you hold Russia's hand, Lord God, where they hold their hands back, Lord God, where they can't, Lord God, blow up any more hospitals, Lord God, blow up any schools, Lord God, blow up, Lord God, apartment buildings. None of that, Lord God, shall go on any longer, oh God. We want you, oh God, to set the captives free, Lord God. God, for we know, oh God, that their hearts and minds are not on you, oh God, but we know that Satan is trying to use them every which way he can, Lord God. We come against Satan in his, oh God, uh, 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 in his foul, nasty ways right now, oh God. We rebuke his hands, oh God, off of your people, Lord God, for they too, oh God, just want to be loved. They too, oh God, want to be, oh God, uh, uh, nurtured, Lord God. So have your way, oh God, even in them, Lord God, that they may turn, Lord God, away from his wicked ways, Lord God, and turn unto you, oh God, for you are the God that healeth thee, oh God, and you are the Lord God, our healer. So heal, Lord God, their hurting hearts right now. Touch their minds, Lord God, for they oh God, are being used, oh God, by his plots and schemes, Lord God, that we know, oh God, that they don't half the time want to do, but because they're led, oh God, and they're led in those, oh God, foul and cantankerous ways, Lord God, we know, oh Lord, that it's because of you, oh God, you can turn the hearts and minds of a king. So have your way, oh God, even within them on this morning, Lord God. Father, we ask, Lord God, that you'd unite us all, Lord God, in a special way on this day, Lord God, where we can just share your love, oh God, one towards the other, oh God, where we can continue, oh God, to just let your love manifest, oh God, deep down inside of each and every one of us, oh Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord God, because you are able to do all things but fail. We thank you, Lord God, because you, oh God, shall continue to lead and direct your people, Lord God. So Father, we thank you, Lord God, and we give your name the glory. We give you all the honor and all praise belongs to you. Father, we thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray and our souls say amen and amen. Bow down and worship Him, worship Him, oh, worship Him. Bow down and worship Him. Enter in, oh, enter in, consume me, 
fire, sweet perfume, your awesome presence fills this room, consume me fire, sweet perfume, your Bow down and worship him, worship him, oh, worship him. Bow down and worship him, Enter in, oh, enter in, consume me by sweet perfume, your awesome presence fills this through consume me by sweet perfume your awesome presence fills this room this is holy This is holy ground. This is holy ground. I'm sorry. So come and bow. Oh, Jesus. Bow down, oh, bow down and worship him, worship him, oh, worship him, bow down and worship Shop him enter in oh enter in consume me fire sweet perfume your Consume me by sweet perfume, your awesome presence fills this room. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. I thank you, God. This is holy ground. This is holy ground. Yes, God. Hallelujah. This is holy ground. Yes, God. So come and bow, bow down. So come and bow, bow down. Lord, I thank you, Lord. Thank you.
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We serve a true and living God. We serve an awesome and great God. We serve the God that is unstoppable and unmovable. We serve the God that is almighty and all powerful. And we continue to exalt him. We continue to worship and adore him. We continue to enable him to rule and to reign while we submit to his power and to his authority. Because we know that no matter what goes on in our lives, no matter what goes in this earth, that he continues to hold all power in his hands and he can speak and cause everything to change in a millisecond. So we are grateful to God. We are thankful to him for all that he is doing. And we are thankful for his word that is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. And we continue to put forth the word of God that our lives might be changed, that our atmospheres may be transformed. And we thankful to him for how he has provided the word of God through the preacher. We're thankful to him for how he has said that how can they preach except they be sent. And so at this time, we're going to prepare ourselves to hear and to receive the awesome, the powerful word of God from none other than our very own evangelist, Leslie Cunningham. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, bless the name of the Lord. Why don't you join me as we praise God, as we thank him, as we give him glory, as we give him honor for waking us up this morning, for starting us on our way. We give him thanks. He didn't have to do it, but he decided to do it on this morning. So we give God glory on this morning. We praise everybody else. We praise athletes and we praise the president and we praise everybody else, but nobody gets the glory. The ultimate glory belongs to our God. So we bless the name of the Lord for this morning morning as we go into the word of the of God to see what God is saying to us on this day. Hallelujah. I am going to pray father in the name of Jesus, as we come before you on today, oh God, hide me, oh God, and let your word come forth. Oh God, I pray for strength. I pray for clarity, oh God. Oh God, I pray that every stopped up ear will be unstopped, oh God. I pray that you will open up every blind eye, oh God, to hear and see you high and lifted up on today, oh God. Cause us, oh God, to be hearers and doers of your word on today, oh God. Cause your word to be activated in us as it come forth, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Cause it not to be me, but you be glorified you be praised and you would be honored on this day. God, I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor in Jesus name. Amen. Well, bless the name of Jesus. I thank God for being able to come before you with the word of God on this morning. Hallelujah. So let us go into the word of God. We are going to be coming from Matthew 7 verses 24 through 29, and 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 9 through 15. That's Matthew 7, verses 24 through 29, and 1 Corinthians verses, I'm sorry, chapter 3, verse 9 through 15. And the word of the Lord reads in Matthew 7, beginning with the 24th verse. Therefore, whosoever heareth these saying, sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not for it was founded upon a rock. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell and great was the fall of it. <clears throat> and it came to pass when Jesus had ended these sayings 
the people were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one having authority and not as scribes. And now we will be reading 1 Corinthians, the third chapter, the ninth verse through the 15th verse. And it reads, for we are laborers together with God. Ye are God's husband's husbandry. Ye are God's building. According to the grace of God, which is given unto me as a wise, I'm sorry. Yes, given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation and another buildeth thereon. But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon. For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now, if any man build upon this foundation, gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest for the day shall declare it because it shall be revealed by fire and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. If any man's work abide, which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. Thus is the reading of the word of God. My message this morning will be, how are you built? How are you built? So let us uh, take a look at natural applications and natural definitions to get a spiritual definition and understanding as to what Jesus is saying on today. Now, sand is a mixture of small grains of rock and granular materials which is mainly defined by size, being finer than gravel and coarser than silt. And silt is a solid dust-like sediment that water, ice, and wind transport and, de and deposit. A rock is a concreted mass of stony material. And a cornerstone is the first stone set and the construction of a masonry foundation. All other stones will be set in reference to this stone, thus determining the position of the entire structure. Beginning with the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew, the fifth chapter, Jesus is giving spiritual principles to aid us in this life, such as how we should look and act, handling the religious law, justice, adultery, divorce, integrity, honesty, care for the needy, loving your enemies, hypocrisy, prayer, fasting, greed, faith, judging one another, and salvation. Jesus' words are practical and concise. After all, he was and still is the master teacher. In the end, Jesus made it clear that his followers should live in a noticeably different way than other people because his followers should hold to a much higher standard of conduct. The Sermon on the Mount ends with the parable in Matthew 7. 24 through 29, which we just read, where Jesus now summarizes with two options. We can ignore what he has just said and carry on the way we are, or we can listen and take on the wisdom he has just provided us with to go forth and build our lives on this good and firm foundation. When we ignore the teachings of Jesus, it's like we are building and living 
our lives on sand. We can quickly get the results we want to see without having to wait as long and without having to do the work of leveling the ground, clearing the land, hauling in the materials and laying them properly to withstand the pressure of what will be built. We can much more easily dump a pile of sand and shape it into what we want. The structure looks good for a little while, but time, pressure, and descending rain will soon tell if we are built to last. This sandy foundation and structure will soon lose its shape and support because it was not built properly. No matter how hard you try, it is difficult to remain totally on the surface of sand. Soft and delicate little pieces move beneath our feet when we walk and our feet begin to sink. And now the foundation that we were standing on is now on us. Just like life, things get on top of us, such as the pursuit of a career, education, aims, goals, and ambitions, such as material possessions, houses, cars, clothes, and money, necessities, food, medical care, home, and clothes responsibilities or duties such as paying medical bills, school fees and living expenses. Then we have family and relationship issues, job and financial security. And because we are hearers of the word, but not doers of the word, we begin to believe the lie of the enemy that tells us God is stopping us from enjoying life. So we get bitter and disillusioned and think we can build ourselves up on sex, partying, and gambling. Having a form of godliness, we profess Christ, but we are stealing from our employers and the church, all in the quest for a luxurious life and acquiring a new car. We are in a sinful relationship because he or she is paying the mortgage, paying bills, paying us, and fulfilling household responsibilities. The cares of this world has us falsely and tirelessly building ourselves up just to be empty inside. We lose our joy and peace in the Lord and become discontent ungrateful and offended with God, all because we did not build with Christ in mind. Now, when I think of a rock, I think of a hard, strong, sturdy, and unbreakable material. Unlike sand, it takes more, it demands more energy, and it requires a greater investment of resources to build with rock. If we study the word of God, live by the word of God and rely on God in every aspect of our lives, we will be built on a firm foundation that cannot be shaken. When tests and trials come our way, God will not let us fall. He will hold us up. If we trust in God with all of our heart and lean not to our own understanding and all our ways acknowledge him, he will direct our path and our faith will be unbreakable. No matter how much the enemy comes to huff and puff to blow our house down. And no matter how hard the strong winds blow and the rain comes down, our faith remains sturdy and immovable. First Peter two and five says ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Now, in order to build a house, you must first 
land prep. You have to prep the land. This includes clearing the area, digging trenches, and making sure utilities are installed. In spiritual terms, repent and come back to your first love. Hallelujah. The second thing that you must do is have the footings and the foundation laid. Your foundation will be made of poured concrete reinforced with steel rods. And Isaiah 28 and 16 says, therefore, thus saith the Lord God, behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. Then there's the framing. In the framing step, the bones of the home start to take shape. And the word of God says, but ye beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Then comes the plumbing, the electrical, and the HVAC. Once the home is dried in, subcontractors will start installing the home's major systems. And the word of God says to be applied to this, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Then comes the installations. We are talking about building your spiritual house. Even though we have natural applications. We have the word of God that can apply to anything. So there comes the insulation. It will be applied to the exterior walls, the basements, the crawl spaces, and the attics. And if Ephesians, it says, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand, stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Then there's the drywall that comes and if Ephesians 2 and 21 tells us um, in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord. And you say that the word of God does not apply to everything, but the word of God even applies to you building a house. The next thing that you need to do while building a house is look at the interior finishes, uh, get them prepared. Uh, the word of God says, but let it be the hidden man of the heart uh, and that which is not corruptible, even the ornament of, of a meek and quiet spirit, um, which is the sight of in the sight of God of great price. Uh, we talking about what's on the inside now. now and now we're going to go until the exterior finishes uh, and the Word of God says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father, which is in heaven. Then we got the fixture installation. We have the foxes, the hot water heater and the HVAC systems are all installed. And the word of God says, but whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. And then you need the floor installation. And the word of God comes to tell us, thou hast enlarged my steps under me that my feet did not slip. And then we're going to have the final inspection. And the word of God says, therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Somebody say hallelujah. I might can't hear you, but your father hear you agreeing with the word of God. And then we come to the final walkthrough. We want to make sure everything is tight. Everything is in place. We don't want no cracks in our walls. We don't want to see no holes and no leaks. So we have this final walkthrough. And the word of God says, I will praise thee for I I am fearfully and wonderfully made marvelous all thy works and that my soul knoweth right well hallelujah my brothers and sisters I encourage you to build your lives so on the foundation of God's truth, uh, then you will be able to persevere um, through those things to come uh, to leave our faith in pieces. Um, if our foundations are built um, merely on our own worldly desires and wisdom, um, then we will be tested um, and we will fail um, like the man who built his house um, on the sand. Uh, we don't want the world's wisdom but we want God's wisdom. And however, because of Jesus's death and resurrection, we know that if we build our lives on Jesus's foundation, the gates of hell cannot prevail against us. We are built tough. I know Ford has this slogan, but we are the ones that are built tough. We are built to last. Hallelujah. The Bible goes on to say, but he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. Excuse me. We have many examples and the word of God, where the enemy came in to huff and to puff and to blow some houses down. <clears throat> Excuse me, like he's trying to do now. But the word of God is still going to come forth. Hallelujah. The enemy came to blow the house down of David. And David said, create in me a clean heart uh, and renew the right spirit within me. And then the enemy came uh, to blow the house down of Shadrach, Meshach, uh, and Abednego uh, and wanted them to bow down um, to a king. But they said uh, that they will not bow down. Uh, and although they were in the fiery furnace, uh, they did not get burnt. And they did not come out smelling like smoke uh, because their foundation was built on Jesus Christ. And then there's Simon Peter. As the word of God goes on and the enemy wanted to sift Simon Peter, hallelujah, the word of God says, Simon Peter, the devil wanted to sift you as wheat, but God said, I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brother. Oh, I'm going to preach the word. Hallelujah. <coughs> Excuse me. And then the enemy came and tried to blow down the house of Job. And Job said, I got something for you. Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. But I will maintain my own ways before him. And there are many other in the word of God where the enemy came to huff and to puff and to blow their houses down. 
and we know each and every day um, that we die daily and the fight is on. Um, we go through our days, um, tests and trials and tribulations that come and one trial after the other. And can we breathe before the next trial happen? Before the next thing happen? Can we get a breath of fresh air? But I tell you um, that if you are on the solid rock, uh, if you are built up on Jesus, um, if your firm foundation is set, um, you can depend on the rock of your salvation um, because he is our fortress. Um, he is a strong tower. He is a firm foundation. He is a solid rock. Uh, he can't be moved. Uh, no one can shake him. Uh, no one can turn down his kingdom. Uh, God is an unstoppable force. Uh, you can trust in him. Uh, you can rely on him uh, because he will do it. Uh, he will keep you when all else fail, uh, when everybody else walk away, uh, stand on your firm foundation. Uh, he has built you up. Uh, use what you know how to use. Uh, use what is within you. Uh, the Holy Ghost power that is within you. Uh, Jesus Christ uh, and that same power that raised Jesus from the dead, uh, it now operates in you. Uh, so you you have some arsenal within you. Uh, you can combat the darts of the enemy, uh, the fiery trials of the enemy. Uh, you can combat it uh, because you are clothed in righteousness. Uh, you have on the whole armor of God. Uh, so as the enemy come, uh, you can give him the word uh, that I will not be moved. Uh, God is with me. He's standing with me. Uh, he goes before me me. He's in my rear. He's above me. He's all over me. So no harm shall come near me. I got something for you, enemy. As you try to take down my family, as you try to take down my loved ones, nothing shall separate me from the love of God in Christ Jesus. No trials, no tribulations, nothing high, nothing low. No demon, no devil, no high places, uh, no wickedness in high places. Uh, it's not going to separate me from my firm foundation. Uh, I'm built up in Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we get like this because we have read the word of God. We have studied the word of God. Each and every day, we are applying the word of God to our lives. Don't be fooled. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he reap. So if you sow into this building, if you sow into your life, you are going to reap the benefits of Christ. Hallelujah. You are going to reap some fruit. Uh, you are going to bear some good fruit uh, as long as you stay uh, on that firm foundation. Don't be moved uh, and don't be shaken. Uh, don't get off course. Uh, get back on course. Uh, get to your dreams. Uh, get to your aims and your goals that God has for you. Uh, stir up the gifts that are within you. Uh, do the work of the Lord. Uh, do the work of the evangelists. Uh, show love everywhere that you're going. Uh, in these days and time with everything that is going on, there's a song uh, that my aunt used to sing to me. Uh, what the world needs now uh, is love, uh, sweet love. That's the only thing. Uh, and Jesus is love. Uh, why don't you give someone Jesus today uh, that they can stand on this firm foundation of Jesus. What are you built on? How are you built? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you built on sand? Or are you built on the rock of Christ Jesus? He's the only 
firm foundation. He's the only sure thing in our lives. Hallelujah. When mother and father leave us, the Lord will take us up. He's there when nobody else is. He's right there. You may not see him and you may not feel him because it's not based on a feeling, but by faith, we trust and believe that he's there. He never failed us and he never will. He was there before and he's there now. When we needed him the most, he came through. He delivered some of us from prison. He delivered some of us from drugs and alcohol. He came and rescued us. He kept us from that bullet. He kept us from that murderer. He kept us from the rapist. He kept us from poverty. He kept us, hallelujah. He kept the roof over our head. He kept our children alive. Hallelujah, I'm talking about being built up on the firm foundation of Jesus Christ. Who wouldn't serve a God like this? The word of God says the fool have said in his heart, there is no God, but there is a God and he is our firm foundation. How are you built? God bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. What an awesome word from the Lord coming from our very own evangelist, Leslie Cunningham. And she reminded us and she asked us a question. How are you built? What foundation do you have? Are you built on the rock of Jesus Christ or on the sand? So we are the building that the God continues to abide in. So the question also becomes, are you, is your building broke down? Is your building dilapidated? Because we know that in the natural, when we have foundations that are wrong, foundations that are not stable, that it causes all kinds of problems in the house. So just as with us, when we are not built on the solid rock of Jesus Christ, there may be all kinds of problems in our lives, in our house. So we want to, you to also be reminded that you can continue and you can go to the Lord. You can go to Jesus Christ and you can always repent and ask him for forgiveness so that your foundation can then be relayed. We call this in the natural renovations. Does your house need any renovations? If your house needs renovations, you may have to go back to the foundation. That is the foundation, the structure. There are some houses that have to be torn completely down and rebuilt so that it will have a solid foundation. So we as believers need to make sure that we have that sol solid foundation before we go forth, before we do anything, that we have the foundation that is built on the solid rock of Jesus Christ. So she also reminded us that just as in the natural, you know, the building also needs to be inspected, that the building also has to have furnishings, the building also has to have utilities, that all of these things also are complete in us once we have the word of God so that we can continue to build up on the house that God has provided us with, that we can continue to make this house suitable for the Lord because we know that the Holy Ghost has to be building the spiritual house that he abides in. So we want to make sure that this spiritual house is available. We want to make sure that this spiritual house is clean, is furnished, and that it is attached and has the strong foundation and continues to be connected to the Holy Ghost, which is that electricity, the Holy Ghost, which is that power that we need. We bless the Lord for how he has continued to remind us and how he con has continued to enable us to go forth in him, knowing that we have to have this foundation right first and then go on and then pursue and then go forth to accomplish what he would have us to do. What an awesome and powerful word that we have heard on this day. And we are grateful to God for enabling our ears to hear it and our hearts to receive it for how he continues to acknowledge and continues to equip 
and continues to enable us to go forth and do all that he has commanded, all that he has instructed instructed. We bless the Lord on today. And at this time, we're going forth with our offering and tithes and announcements with Minister John T. Jones. Amen. We thank God and give God the glory for that awesome word. Hallelujah. How are you built? Hallelujah. The, the firm foundation is Jesus Christ. Um, we thank God for the opportunity again to be able to give into that house, to be able to sow into the kingdom of God, to be able to bring the tithes and the offerings into the storehouse. God said that there may be resources in my house. Hallelujah. He said, try me, test me, see if I won't open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you won't have room enough to receive. So we have the opportunity to give uh, this morning via Givelify. You can use the app on your phone or on your device or on your computer, Givelify at Haven of Rest Sanctuary of Praise, or you can use Zelle. Uh, it's a bank to bank transaction the app on within your uh, banking app and you can search uh, we don't have to search but you can type in a horse op 2552 at gmail.com that's h o r s o p 2552 at gmail.com God says he loves the cheerful giver hallelujah he said give and I give it back to you press down shaking together running over shall men and women give back into you hallelujah when we, we want to sow hallelujah into this good ground into this fertile ground into this ministry and also if you're using givelify there is a section on there where you can uh, uh you can sow a speaker's offering as well we invite you to sow a speaker's offering we thank god for that awesome word on today and we want to sow into that word we want to tell god and let god know with our substance that we agree with the word of the lord that we agree with what he spoke over us on today in the name of jesus we want to give you the opportunity to be able to give, and we're going to come right back to be able to add a blessing to the seed that was sown on today in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. We worship you. We praise you. We magnify you. We thank you for the opportunity to be able to give, oh God, into your house, to partner with you, to sow into your kingdom, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that your kingdom may be expanded, that your kingdom may be enlarged, that your glory may be revealed here on the earth, God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, oh God, that you are blessing us, oh God, with spiritual blessings in heavenly places. You have already blessed us, and we thank you, oh God, that we'll be blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed when we come and when we go. We speak blessings right now over all who are able to give and those who had a heart to give in the name of Jesus. We pray for increase. We pray for uh, stability. We pray for prosperity. We pray for health and wellness. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, we pray God that homes and families, oh God, will be restored. We pray that uh, uh, new jobs will uh, take place, that new businesses will open up. Oh God, we pray for your anointing to fall fresh, oh God, on our finances finances in the marketplace in everything that we do God because we partner with you oh God and you are the creator the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof and all that dwell therein we thank you that you've given us the power to obtain wealth oh God in the name of Jesus and we are blessed to be a blessing in the name of Jesus help us to bless others oh God as well as bless your house in Jesus name we give you glory we give you honor and we give you praise in Jesus name and we say amen Hallelujah. Saints of God, we thank you once again for joining us on today and, and connecting with us on social media. We want you to continue to connect with us even when we're not having service. Won't you uh, 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 join us on Facebook and on YouTube? On Facebook is Haven of Rest Sanctuary of Praise. On YouTube is Haven of Rest Sanctuary of Praise Church. We want you to be able to, uh, uh, to comment, to like, to share, to subscribe. Hallelujah. These videos will be up for uh, rebroadcast. You can 
and watch them over and over and over again to get them down in your spirit to hear what the word of the Lord is for you and for your family and for this world. Hallelujah. Don't forget about our website, www.horsop.com and our testimonial Mondays Sunday segment, we want you to be able to submit your testimonies to us. So many people are being blessed by the reading of the testimonies of the saints of God, that God is a deliverer, that God is a healer, that God is a way maker, that God will work it all out for the good of them that love him, that are called according to his purpose. We need to hear from you. So won't you type it up and email it to us? at horsopweb at gmail.com that's h-o-r-s-o-p-w-e-b at gmail.com we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony hallelujah the word of our testimony let people hear that god is doing great things in your life we thank god for what he's already done and what he's going to do in the future in jesus name we want to remind you to be right here with us again on zoom uh, on next sunday at 10 30 for our sunday morning worship hallelujah every tuesday and friday our corporate prayer if there was ever a time where we need to come together and pray now is the time it always has been the time but now is the time to uh come together in prayer you can call in from 7 30 to 8 p.m as we intercede and stand in the gap on behalf of the needs of the world of the nation of our own families and whatever god places on our heart to be able to pray for and intercede for every wednesday at 7 30 uh we're having our bible enlightenment and bible enrichment classes right here on zoom hallelujah and every saturday our men are coming together corporately on the the prayer line to be able to pray and intercede men are always to pray and not to faint hallelujah the prayers of the righteous they availeth much so call in with us men on uh saturday from 7 to 7 30 we thank god for all that he's done and all the things that he's going to do we give god the glory the honor and the praise be mindful that we want to continue to pray for our ministry, continue to pray uh, for uh, us getting back into our sanctuary. Hallelujah. We are so excited. We're so excited for what God is doing in our local assembly, in our physical building. Hallelujah. We were renovating. Hallelujah. That house. We were preparing uh, uh, that foundation. And we are glad. We were glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the lord hallelujah but we can come back together and fellowship hallelujah COVID uh uh restrictions are, are a little bit more relaxed but we're going to give god the glory we're going to give him the honor and the praise when we come back into that building in jesus name god bless you praise the lord praise god we thank god for the opportunity to give into his kingdom we thank him for another glorious day in the lord we thank him for how he has used our very own evangelist leslie cunningham to give us a reminder to give us a jump start to give us the encouragement to go forth and to ensure that we have our foundation built on jesus christ that our house will be able to stand no matter what comes and so we're going to turn it back over to her for final words and we're also going to uh, listen for her for the benediction coming from evangelist leslie cunningham well god bless you all of god's people once again we thank you for joining us on today to hear the word of the Lord, to sing praises unto the Lord, to be in unity with the body of Christ as we give God what he is due. He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the honor. He's worthy of the glory. Hallelujah. And we thank God that on this day, we was able to take the time out <clears throat> and give back to the one, our stable force, to give him what he's due. Hallelujah. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. Thank you again for joining us and be blessed all God's people.